Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody watching this later on on YouTube for some quasi dupla ooze. This was one of my favorite decks in the this format that you know is about to change with War of the Spark coming in a few days. Um, definitely wanted to play this deck at, at least one last time. We'll see if we play it again. Um, but yeah, basically what we have here is we have uh, a deck built around our two namesake cards. Quasi-Duplicate for us to create tokens of creatures. And the creature that we want to create tokens of is Biogenic Ooze. So basically the goal of our deck is to play Biogenic Ooze uh, on turn, like with five mana, with six mana, copy it with Quasi-Duplicate and Jumpstart immediately also. And so double copy it and just make a bunch of oozes and grow them um, and just kind of, I don't know, eventually win the game with just ridiculously large oozes. It's kind of, that's kind of what our deck's doing. It's pretty fun. Um, so yeah, <laughs> ooze party time. Yeah, that's what we have here. Um, so we're going to be playing this over in the ranked queue. We did a poll a little bit ago of playing some ranked matches or uh, one of the events and people wanted to see ranked so let's head on over to ranked and play some quasi dupla ooze we will change our avatar also progress cannot be stopped to vanifar we're platinum tier three let's see how how far we climb up in a platinum or down you never know <laughs> we tried to we, we tried to demir zombie mill match and ranked at the end of the stream last night unfortunately we got paired against mono red in our our janky infinite mill combo deck got mono redded out of the out of the match. <laughs> yeah, on Thursday is when Sparks releases on um, on Arena. Um, the I don't I don't know when your pre-order packs unlock exactly. I would assume. Of course, I don't know. But I would assume it would be after the downtime happens on Thursday morning is whenever they would your War of the Spark uh, pre-release packs would unlock. Hello. All right, we need to draw lands or explore creatures. Like we have two good draws, land or explore creature. Like that's a, a lot, of, a big part of our deck here are good draws, lands or explore creatures. Hey, three man. Land, there we go. Stop taking my Vivians. Ooh, took the climb. That's good for us. That means we could resolve Vivian after we draw this land off the top. Right deck, after we draw this land off the top. Always had it. Just gotta believe. Wild come to me. Um, I kind of feel like I'd rather just have another land than a land of elf. Rude. I'd always survive. You'll see. Could have ritual set, but there we go. Got another card deeper. Basically, just cycled the, the quasi duplicate. Even if it's a ritual of soot, we just cycled. If it's not a ritual of soot, then uh, you know we got another creature. And that worked out. The the whole cycling thing. Do that again. 
Looking for oozes and vivians and hydro crises. Any ideas which decks could be fine in new standard? Yeah, uh, well, uh, there seems like like standard's going to open up, and it's just going to be like there's going to be a lot of really good options. Uh, blue decks in in general just kind of gain a lot. It seems like just various blue decks. Um, Control is usually not like the best immediately in a format. But control does have a lot of good tools. Don't know what they're gonna get here. Ritual of Soot doesn't save them. I'm not sure what saves them. Yeah, tokens are the CMC zero. Um, like this token is. I think a token of something else has that CMC, I believe. Yeah, I think they changed that ruling. Like a, a token of a biogenic ooze would have CMC five on the battlefield. Do you think the new Planeswalker Davriel could be used in like a standard eight rack build? Yeah, that's what I need to try to try to find out for Val for Valor Axial too. Um, I'm not sure if there's enough there. Like, I don't really know exactly what what kind of goes along. Like, obviously that's a good piece, but I don't know what else kind of goes with that piece. Goes with that. So let's take out Climb, Quasi Duplicate, and Incubation Druid. Wild Growth Walker is another option to take out. I guess I probably want Druid over Walker. Um, against decks with a lot of removal, I I like taking out quasi duplicates because if they if they have instant speed removal and you try to clone your own creature and they kill your creature in response, it does not work very well for you. And if they like, if you're just holding quasi duplicate, they thought erasure like your other cards, then you may not be able to really do anything also with the quasi duplicates. The Hadana's climbs are Hadana's climbs kind of the same thing. It's only good at like you know like when you have like your creature other creature on the battlefield and you know it's good like with your other threats. If they can if they can just trade one for one with your threats, the Hadana's climbs not going to do anything on its own. Uh, that was all the cards in the set. Like, like what we went over the other day, like uh, last weekend, Mitch, and those are all the cards in the set. Yeah, we are almost there. Almost at war. You can see, we're not not streaming tomorrow, but then Wednesday, 
So then Wednesday will be our last stream with Ravnica Allegiance Standard. Uh, definitely going to play some Grixis Discard on Wednesday. Last day. And we'll kind of see what else we want to uh, I didn't live play as well. To lose to you. And then Thursday... <laughs> I'll, I'll start out, streaming dear. on Thursday as soon as War of the Spark is live. And... Meet my newest friend. All right, quasi duple ooze with the win to start with over Demir Control. Good job, Vanifar. Our counter magic was clutch there, the disdainful stroke. You know, disdainful stroke and frilled mystic, pretty clutch. Yeah, teamer reclamation still looks to be pretty strong. I could certainly see. Team of Reclamation decks playing the new uh, RAL combo with, you know, explosions and, or with expansions and RAL, and just having that in there, because RAL, even on its own, can just minus and copy a Nexus of Fate kind of thing. Volkard, thank you so much with for the sub there. Eight months in a row, or just eight months, I don't know. In a row, do, not in a row, doesn't matter. You are amazing. Thank you so much, old guard. Eight months for sub number eight. Yeah. Uh, so no, no, but I'm I'm gonna go go ahead and just play standard right away. So we have, uh, we have, we have a just a ton of wow cards saved up. I have a lot of gold for packs to buy right away, and so we'll just go ahead and just. Uh, get going with standard right away instead of doing the sealed first. Yeah, Gomez, that that's kind of the plan. Um, yeah, so Grixis discard. Um, oh yeah, definitely a Legends deck. Yeah, we'll be playing a Legends deck on Wednesday. Um, Orzhov Angels. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of have a list in mind. We'll build it. We'll also kind of build it together on stream. Um, but yeah, I have a list in mind. I have a, you know, a few lists in mind of like what to, to do. I don't want to quasi duplicate an incubation druid. Not really. I'm just going to adapt this thing right now instead of waiting, because in case in case my opponent had like moment of craving. They're down to two cards. Graveyard. Graveyard. When he lands... Well then. Um. Okay, cool, Valor Axel. Yeah. It I think we need uh Davriel from War of the Spark for your for your deck. Correct. You cannot open. There's no. Yeah, you cannot open war packs on arena until Thursday. Correct. Been really hoping for just some blue mana so I can quasi duplicate the Jade Light Ranger. And obviously, for how this played out, you know, we didn't know it was gonna play out like this. But I, I wish I would have just gotten the. I would have copied the incubation druid before. What would you risk to be? Yeah, 
Man, we did not draw any lands that game, did we? We drew one land that entire game, even with like exploring twice and everything. We drew one land. All right, disdainful stroke negate frilled mystic. Y'all coming in again? Um, these things again out. And I'm going to play, this time instead of the two wild growth walkers, I'm going to play two harpooners because of Nicol Bolas. Likely, it's it's likely they could have, like, Thief of Sanity also. Mass manipulation is pretty expensive. And, you know, it's it's the kind of thing that, like, mass manipulation would be an, a just a great top deck for us. But it's not something we'll want in our hand, like, while they're, like, thought erasuring us and that kind of stuff. Speaking of them thought erasuring us and all that kind of stuff. Just keep a bunch of lands. Lands are good. We'll top deck spells we need. Mono red gets. Um, it gets. Uh, Tibalt that makes other decks not be able to gain life. Shocking and Steam Vents. They're playing Counter Magic. Beasts. Sometimes restoration means retribution. That may not be true. Just saying, just Tibalt is just a, a cyborg card against Esper, and it's not good. Like that, that may not be true. We don't, we don't really know what the format's going to shape up to be. There's a lot of cards that say gain life in the set, and there's a lot of cards. You know, like there's like a Johnny's and Sorens and things like that. That, like, balance comes. Like we just don't know. Like it could certainly be that. Um, Tibalt turns into an important card for red decks, honestly. We, we just don't know right now. But yeah, yes, it uh, mid-range and control decks definitely seem like what, what War is building towards, which is, I mean, yeah, it's just a lot of Planeswalkers. That's what those things are, and there's even more Sweepers. Planeswalkers and Sweepers, those are... Those tilt you towards playing mid range and control. Draw and fire. Would you like to see what no one knows the wilds like I do? Um, no, I'm. I don't play very much paper magic anymore because uh, I'm here streaming each and every day. So I'm doing that. I'll be back. Just like before. Yeah, all the gods are pretty mid rangey. Yep, they're all like, you know, five mana creatures that are strong. So if my opponent knows about this Hydroid Crisis, if I just don't cast the Hydroid Crisis... Oh, it's three. Wait, I do six. Sorry. Drawing three. If I just don't cast Hydroid Crisis, it's like... really telling about what I could have in my hand and all that kind of stuff. Sub battles are still a thing. Yeah, we're, we're still... Doing sub battles, sub battles are going strong. Um, we're doing sub battles every 15 sub goals that we hit. Let's see. Yeah, 
And so, like, I have an info panel about that. Um, and right now we're at 10, I believe, or are we at 11? Did we get to 11 last night, or are we at 10? Which one are we at? We're at 11. We've hit 11 sub goals now. So, once we get two more subscribers... Yeah, when we get two more subscribers, we'll hit this sub goal, and that'll be our 12th sub goal, and then we'll only be three away from our next sub battle day. See, we kept a lot of lands, just kept a hand of lands, and we, we drew our spells. Especially them, them playing the Nicol Bolas and allowing us to... Uh, <clears throat> And us drawing the Vivian, that was, you know, that was kind of the game. It's a lot easier to win when you have a lot of lands than when you don't have many lands. As we saw those, that game. Ah, sorry, Dirk. You'll get, you'll get there the next time. Oh yeah, Neoform, Finale Devastation, absolutely. You can get a Birthing Pod type deck in Standard. That sounds pretty sweet. Yeah, we'll see if Aristocrats has has enough. There's just so much there's so much good removal in the format. Yeah, the removal in standard is so, so good. Hey, Lost in the Shuffle, thanks for the host. Mono white, or mono white splash green for a Johnny. The carnivals that our opponents have been playing have been very good. One mana answers to Jade Light Ranger, real good. Just no lands again. This is how we lost the first game, couldn't hit land drops. Didn't we keep a three lander? Yeah, and we just haven't seen a single land yet. I was worried that they were going to use treasures uh, to like have a removal spell and kill the harpooner and save the bolus. Come on, land. Come on, land. All right. We're getting there. We are getting there. What cards from War of the Spark would you consider for Sultai? I don't quite remember off the top of my head, honestly. Um, I'm not not exactly sure. Like maybe Liliana. Um, yeah, like potentially Liliana. All right, we fought through the treasure map, so they're down to their three cards. Mm. 
The wild wasn't meant to be contained. How much life you want to pay? Oh my gosh. Go to two? That can't help you now. Okay, not going to two. You're just fuel your crew for mine. Alright, alright. <laughs> a fair price. Not bad. Yeah, not a bad turn. A mouse. They are so close to dying. So close. No, I haven't I haven't really ever thought about streaming on YouTube, no. No fire, no steel. I don't I don't know much about what that entails. All right, we got there. What a close one. Ugh. All right. There we go. All right, we are 2 and 0. Let's keep this going. Two and O. Oh. Um Oh yeah, Soltai would I would think they would want also Soltai midrange. I think they would want the new Narset, at least in their sideboard against Control. New Narset is just awesome. It does cost double blue, but keeping your opponent from drawing multiple cards a turn, that card's just so good. I don't know if I could stream to both at the same time with... You know, I can't... I don't... I don't know, like... Like, the whole music situation and everything, I don't know. It's... I don't, I don't know what to do, like, with that with YouTube. I kind of want to mulligan this. I don't like that hand. Alright, I need to reset Arena. After this match, it's, it's kind of lagging a little bit. Oh, cannot stream on both. Okay. Thanks, Black Gloves. Alright, so cannot stream on both. So cool. I'll just keep streaming on Twitch. I like Twitch. Looking like tokens. Here, which, you know, can we go, can we go wide enough with Biogenic Ooze and Quasi-Duplicate to stop them? Unclear. We may get ran over. Hmm. Alright. Druid's a good draw. So we get to... Because Druid means we get Biogenic Ooze next turn. And we certainly wanted Biogenic Ooze as early as possible. Wizards has not said anything about when it's going to Mac. When Arena's coming to Mac, as, as far as I know. Hmm. Well, I guess now we can just... I guess we're just going to WoW Growth plus Jade Light now. I feel like this is March of the Multitudes... Good. No March of the Multitudes. That's good. Hopefully no Tristani. Please no Tristani.
No Tristani, no Tristani. exactly sure what this attack's about. I just I guess just trade a knight for four damage. time no no Chris no they're not gonna unbreakable formation don't don't wait for that no no unbreakable formation over there I can have instant speed removal right Doing this so I get to Branch Walker also. You know, I can just play a three mana Biogenic Ooze instead of a five mana one. Or, yeah, yeah, that turn I could have adapted plus duplicate instead of playing Branch Walker. We haven't won yet. No, like with March of the Multitudes, they can still go wider. We're going to need it to start attacking and everything. It looks like they got March. We have not won this. Alright, so they're probably holding the Flourish, trying to find land drops, but I'm, I'm assuming it's Tristani next turn. Five. Alright, so for me to, to play Quasi-Duplicate plus Biogenic Ooze, I have to just ditch the Krasis. Should I ditch Krasis? All right, Krasis down. Yeah, so now our plan is just to keep making tokens with Biogenic Ooze. Um, ah, head on his climb. That card's good. I think we found a win con. I think we found a win con.
So they have 22 lifelink chilling right here that they can attack with. All right, they're attacking with everything. So four, three, block one, four. All right, and then I guess I should be blocking the life linkers. I guess. Oh, come on, let me block. Ugh, block. 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 We're barely blocking over here. Trying to block. Are you blocked yet? I don't think so. Um, who else is not blocked? Are you blocked? No? Wait, stop blocking Tithe Taker. That gives you a flyer. Let's not do that. Somebody, oh yeah, yeah, y'all are all saying that. I was going to say, someone's probably saying that in chat. Look over, yep. <laughs> all right, block. We're doing the cha-cha there. All right, down to 20. I mean, well, our opponent saw the Hedonis climb on, on top. They had to attack because all of the lifelink I was going to have. Alright, so countering their top end spells is basically all we need to do. Or, like, that's, like, the main thing we need to do. Light of 64, and all these other cards are good. <laughs> all that for a drop of blood. But, you know, if we counter March and counter Flourish, I guess I'm not going to play for Old Mystic. Because I, I want the rest of these. I want this other shell. I want Druid. I want the rest of these. Oh, man. I can't believe we're, Avengers are coming out this week. The new Avenger movie. We got Game of Thrones out. We're about to have War of the Spark. So much battling everywhere. Whether the war is for Spark, Sparks, or Thrones, or... I don't know. Uh, infinity stones. So stones or sparks or thrones. Sparks or starks. What? Where's the boo? Need it. I need a, I need a boo, boo. All right, so we don't get to make the extra ooze. We still get one ooze, and we can still just keep adding mana and make more oozes. No, I think they're saying Boo Earns. <laughs> um. right, I'm going to just activate the Incubation Druid. I'm, of course, one short of playing Incubation Druid, or activating Druid and making a, a token. I'm just going to do the Druid. What is this shenanigans? It wasn't enough to have honor guard. Now we have to have tribunals.
So we have seven right now for Krasis. If we wait turn, we draw an extra card. Got another tribunal. Well, we would have drawn three last turn. Now we would draw. Now we would draw two this turn. Probably should just be waiting another turn. No, let's do five. Alright, so definitely feeling bad for sideboarding out Vivian Reed with all these Conclave Tribunals. Alright, we need to we need to switch up our sideboarding. They are all about these enchantments and honor guards. We're gonna need to switch up our sideboarding here. How do we beat Honor Guard? Just with Bio Biogenicus and Biogenicus and Hydroid Crisis, just be beat Honor Guard. I mean, Honor Guard's only good, of course, against the the Branch Walker, Wild Growth, and Jade Light. That's all. That's all it does. Is just stop those cards. Let's get those things back in. And another one of these. And taking these out. Okay. I mean, Canopy's fine. I just would rather have Vivian. If, if I'm going to play a, a spell that's that's designed to destroy an enchantment, I'd rather have a Vivian than Canopy, because Vivian's just a lot more powerful. And I don't need to flood the deck with more of those. I mean, we got Counter Magic, too. Alright, Honor Guard or Bust? Please Bust. No Honor Guard. Hooray, no honor guard. Yeah, yeah, you can reach platinum within War of the Spark release. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Gusigen. Hey, Preddy with the raid. Thank you, Preddy. Welcome everybody from Preddy stream over here. We are playing some quasi dupla ooze is the deck that we are currently playing. We're two and zero right now with it, and we're in a we're just starting game three. So as you can see, we went Wild Growth Walker into Jade Light Ranger the last two turns. Doing that again. Basically, this other Wild Growth Walker is not going to do anything for us. But that's okay. Johnny Hotbox, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for the subscription, Johnny. Enjoy your 22 new really cool emotes. And that's going to be sub number 9 it on the day. good to see you, my friend. One away from Heal. our first sub goal. Do you think Repudiate Replicate would be good in this deck? No. It's just... Unfortunately, the Repudiate part... Um, just doesn't do anything most of the time. Alright, let's pressure... <clears throat> let's pressure this Ajani. I like to trade with their creatures. Okay. I hope you find your path. Climb was lethal. I mean, it wasn't. We didn't have the mana to play Climb and activate it. 
because playing climb takes three, and then whenever it flips, you need three more to activate it. So we we cannot activate climb. Yeah, climb could make a twelfth power creature if if we could activate it. We couldn't. And twelfth power wasn't even lethal there at thirteen. I still think I'd rather just have a Biogenic Goose here than playing the Climb right now. I should be attacking first and then doing stuff afterwards. Because, you know, they know they can just quadruple block and kill my Wild Growth Walker. If they would like. Uh, I don't know of that specific list, Peyton. I don't have a great answer for you. Still willing to take that trade. <clears throat> Not really playing for trying to win immediately, as y'all can tell. How this thing the wild are the late my game. shield. Because we got these oozes. We good. Let's get this Vivian read out of here. Not dead yet. Do you think you perform better or worse in Arena compared to Paper Magic? Uh, definitely worse. Paper Magic, you get to focus a whole lot more. Um, arena, it's it's a lot easier to, you know, like you, it's a lot easier to just play too fastly in Arena, and especially like while streaming. You know, I'm, you know, thinking about everything that's going on, like with the chat and everything, and also just thinking about things to say, and trying not to have too much dead air, kind of stuff, and and all that, and. Um, so because of that, you know, your just mind's just doing a lot of other things besides just playing. So I miss things quite a bit that I wouldn't be missing in Paper Magic. Oh yeah, let's let's do just a really quick reset because um, we've been on for four hours and it was laggy. It just takes like you know fifteen twenty seconds or whatever. Load this back up. Favorite kind of pasta shape? Um, I don't know the name of it, but it's just like a, you know, just like a, a regular, like, I don't know, just a regular straight noodle that's like a cylindrical kind of shape. I think it starts with a P. Penne? Ooh, penne? That sounds like a word. <laughs> Do y'all think I should put like an MTG wallpaper on my background? I don't know. I just never really done, never been a, a wall, a computer wallpaper person. I just, it's just kind of whatever. You can do it, Andrew. Uh, I think Esper Control is very strong, and it looks like it's going to be better after War of the Spark. You know, just like just first impressions from the set that's obviously before we're playing the format um i don't i don't love it at all i don't hate it though i, I don't hate anything i don't hate things 
not I'm not that kind of person. But I'm not I'm not a fan of Esper control. Yeah, we got over a thousand people in here. Welcome everybody. If y'all are kind of new to the channel, my name's Todd Stevens, and I stream here on Twitch each and every day, standard, from 3 to 10. I like uh, building my own decks. I try to build a lot of different and fun and interesting decks. Um, and that's that's what we're playing here today. We're playing a quasi-duplicate ooze deck. It's a lot of fun, quasi-duplicating biogenic oozes. So your biggest weakness as a streamer? Probably my biggest weakness as a streamer is... I don't think that I, like, I think that I could be more entertaining than what I am, more, like, outgoing and, uh, I don't know, like, uh, excitable or, or whatever, or, like, you know, react more on, like, whenever insane things happen or, you know, that kind of stuff. I could be more, I could be like that, but I am... Just pretty soft-spoken in general. Um, talking or like being like real excited, all that kind of all that kind of stuff is not my strong suit. Yeah, w yeah, no, it w it would not come off as authentic at all because that's that's not me. But you know, so it wouldn't be good for me to do that kind of stuff. But maybe if I had a different personality, I could maybe be a better streamer if I was more entertaining like that. I don't know. Yeah, everybody here in chat is awesome. Y'all are amazing. Three, six, eight. Do I want to attack for nine? Might as well attack for nine. I mean, so it's basically, do I want to make a four, four crisis or a five, five crisis and attack for one more or one less? I don't really know. Like, I don't, I don't really see any difference between a four, four or a five, five crisis here or really the difference between that point of damage or not. So I don't think it really matters either way, which, whichever way we chose. That negate is a really good draw. I forgot we had those. Oh. Yeah, this is, this is my job, Peyton, and I like how I look with a shirt and a tie and it's comfortable for me and I just like to pre prevent uh sorry present myself this way and so that's why I wear a dress shirt and a tie thank you so much character says I like your stream a lot uh or like your stream, a lot of MTG streamers use boring decks and don't interact with chat. But use inter interesting decks and talk. Thank you. That's that's what I'm trying to do, and you know that's my goal. I I like interacting and playing interesting decks, both of those things. So if we're playing against Teamer Reclamation. We need these crushing canopies. We probably want harpooners too for like Niv Mizzet. That's a lot of cards to bring in. Um, I don't know if we need climb and maybe not even biogenic ooze. But like if they have biogenic ooze, then we're going to need biogenic ooze kind of thing. Aw, oh, thanks for the bits. Cheers. Thank you very much, Aku. So Wild Growth Walker is the other card that I'm not thrilled about. We'll do it like this. We'll have our, our one our we'll just have our one Biogenic Ooze just to just to have. We could of course also kind of go with these things as well, but 
Oh well. <laughs> It'd be more entertaining if you played Mono Red to grind a Mythic for 19 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Could go to tank top stream. I do have that Sunday fun day tank top. Uh, I mean, decent hand. Not really any interaction for their deck. But that's that's what our draw steps are for, right? We're gonna draw some counter magic. We did have we've we've gone with Fancy Friday a couple of times where I dress up on Friday. By dressing up, it was just wearing a wearing a vest and suit coat. We called it Fancy Friday. Yeah, they could have Phoenix in the board. It's it's kind of like I don't know. People are just kind of all over, so. You know, saying, does does Teamer play Ooze? It's like, well, maybe. It's kind of an individual thing. Some people play Ooze, some people don't. I don't want to just assume that because they're Teamer, they don't have Ooze. Like, I don't want to just assume that people are play the exact same list that other people do. That's not a... That's a way where you can get in trouble. I kind of regret not just... Slam in the Biogenic Ooze last turn. We have to get more pressure on the battlefield before we can start holding up Frilled Mystic. Even if we were just putting playing a Biogenic Ooze into a counter. I kind of feel like I maybe should have done that. I need to also like find a Harpooner or a Vivian because I'm scared of Niv-Mizzet on this turn. Please don't play Niv-Mizzet opponent. Also, if you're newer to the channel here, uh, we've I've spent a lot of time recently, including a couple hours today, setting up a setting up the Discord channel. And so, if you want to talk magic and with everybody here in the in the community and try to grow and and learn and and also help other people uh, grow and learn as well, join the Discord. It's for everybody. You don't have to just be a subscriber. It's for everybody. A lot of different rooms in the Discord channel, talking all formats um, and everything. See, they got ooze. Ooze fight. <laughs> no, it's it's fun to you know standard still enjoyable and everything. Not sure if I should just play that island. Not sure I should just play that island. Mm. Does kill a Niv Mizzet.
So now we can start it. Now we're going to attack with this 5 5 next turn because it's bigger than Phoenix. Okay. Frilled Mystics, getting it done. Man, Quasi Dupla Ooze is crushing. And we are 4 0. Got Platinum Tier 2 now. Maybe we'll get through Platinum. Who knows? <laughs> that is true. We never did actually see a Reclamation that turn. Or like that game. They didn't really play anything the first game. And then game two, they just had the Phoenix and Oozes. I assume they're a Reclamation deck. You never know. Ugh. Quasi Duple Ooze. Fun deck. All right, here we go. Do we get lucky? Wow, we're lucky. We get to play first. That's lucky. <laughs> All of them. Takes all the oozes. That's a good J Light Ranger. So, this is, you know, Drowned Catacomb is almost always a control deck, whether it's Esper or Grixis. I don't think, like, we. One option we could have had was, like, play Incubation Druid the last turn, and then next turn we'll have five mana, act, and then adapt the Incubation Druid. But... I don't feel like... Like, I don't feel like the Incubation Druid would have resolved, or that, that would have necessarily been our best thing to do. We're going to not draw a land eventually. <laughs> not yet, though. And I would really, I really want to divination Krasis. I want to draw two with Krasis. We haven't had six mana yet. But I, I want the first Krasis to do a little better than replacing itself. It is, you know, not so great against Thought Erasure. But Thought Erasure, like if we just throw the Krasis out there, you know, whatever we would draw would just get Thought Erasured away anyway. Can we draw Vivian yet? Not yet. So, yeah, the question is why do I ditch climb against control? Because it could make every single creature a threat. The answer is every single creature is already a threat. It's not I as fast of a threat. You know what? I'm not but the problem is is they can just kill your if you if they just kill your creatures, the climb's not going to do anything. You don't want a, a card that's reliant on on like you already being able to deal damage for it to just deal some more damage. That's just not worth not worth a card. Alright, let's get ready to sideboard and hopefully not draw as many lands. Wild Growth Walkers, Ooze, and or Wild Growth Walkers, Duplicate, and 
climb all on out. Let's get this mass manipulation in here. These frill mystics. And we're playing one more. I think we're playing a canopy. Yeah, we're playing a canopy. So I want mass manipulation to steal Teferi, or you can also steal Dawnbringer or Thieves of Sanity if they're playing those. Um, Canopy can kill those things. This is not a good hand either. We've got lots of lands. I do like having lands. Um, and we have an answer to Search Rose Cancer right now. Impulse's clutches cost four generic and two blue mana. So four blue blue. Dang, I really want to play this Jade Light. No reason to show our opponent that breeding pool right now. So they're missing land drops. <clears throat> Almost assuredly holding up. Absorb. So I think it's probably better for me to not play Absorb or play anything into the Absorb so they just have to go to discard here. Like even if I play Branch Walker and get that Absorbed. I'd rather them just discard a card. So by just not playing anything, cool, we got a Kaiser at that other hand. So we'll just wait. They have more cards than us. We'll just kind of get some more cards. Let's even the playing field a little bit. Cool. There's a Teferi. That thing's gone. Alright. If we draw one more land, then if I could Branch Walker plus Biogenicus, then, then I would play something. Alright, and now they're gonna... They drew that land, so now they get to Insight. So let's play a couple things. Now we're a lot closer on cards. By having them just discard a Kai's Wrath and a Teferi. Now we're pretty even on cards. We were getting buried before. Alright, now we're resolving Vivian the victory. here. Funny, that's what I do. I'm not very scared of Kai at all. Beast balance comes for a lot of reasons. Um, most of which doesn't do anything. That should be a card to sideboard out. I mean, all it does is like kill a land war elf. We don't, we don't play like find finality or anything. Mm 
the whole it, it can ultimate and make us lose life and they gain life that just doesn't doesn't matter it's not what the it's not what games usually come down to meet my newest friend all right let's get this land so we get to biogenic ooze and have frilled mystic oh it does it does eat my tokens okay never mind i forgot about the tokens with biogenic ooze okay never mind kaya actually does something it does exile a token. That's annoying. I was thinking it was just uh, Lanor off. I forgot about the token there. Okay. Let's keep this. Yeah, our opponent not having as much mana. I mean, we just spent a lot more mana than our opponent did, and that's it's usually how you win in standard. You spend more mana than your opponent. They didn't have, they weren't able to spend as much as we were. Alright, so they're on six cards. We got a turn two Jade Light, that's always good. <laughs> Alright, both Incubation Druids are down. Don't really want to play a Branch Walker into a Kai's Wrath. Alright, I should not attack with Lana or Elf. I haven't even thought about that. Ugh, should not attack with Lana or Elf. Yeah, parry grip almost. We're just a couple, uh, couple days away from new set on arena. So I'm doing this pre-combat for an important reason. If I go to combat and then just attack with branch walker, our opponent can. In combat, kill my Llanowar Elf. And not, you know, because if I'm not attacking with the Llanowar Elf, that's telling them that I want to use that Llanowar Elf post-combat. So if they just, you know, like, cast down the Llanowar Elf, then I can't play the Hydro Crisis anymore, and then they'd still have, like, the Counterspell Magic for a Vivian or a Biogenic Ooze. Hmm. Really wish we had one more. Really wish I could Vivian plus have Negate available. I'm going to go Ooze. I think Ooze is better against Teferi. Like, if I just go Vivian, then it, like, a Teferi tuck Vivian, I just don't have a battlefield. So it looks like they're gonna they're gonna play an end step spell still here. At least we still have a battlefield. Hey, that was uncalled for. Come to me. Dang, two negates to the bottom. Hold that thought. All 
I'm not quite sure your question, Zydroth. Well, we'll resolve this crisis. The wilds are my shield. Teferi's at three right now. So option is like, get Frilled Mystic and just play a cycle crisis with Frilled Mystic available. I think I like that. Seen one Kaiserath so far. <clears throat> we need to move. I mean, two cards is pretty good, you know. Like, so Frill Mystic being able to take out two cards, it's not bad. New to fairy. I can no longer stand by and watch. Time is much going through a lot to tuck a think. tuck a Vivian. Do they have two removal spells also? Oh, great draw step. We will meet again. I think I just wait to draw the other Vivian. The problem is like if they have so if they have absorb, oh my gosh. We're gonna have so many Vivians here. I mean, because basically if I play Vivian and it resolves, I don't really want to tick up. I guess I could just play it and not tick up, I guess. Yeah, Vivian Tribal. I'll phase through anything that stands in my way. I guess I could have just cast the Vivian in. Your goodbyes already. To see if it resolved. Good for you. Shuffling me off my mortal coil. Attack. All right. Well, we're slowly getting their absorbs out. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? Hmm. So I'm gonna get uh, Frilled Mystic there, but I mean, I think we're doing just fine. I think that's GG. GG. This is a good match. All right. 5 and 0 oh with quasi dupla ooze. We should probably keep playing it until we lose, right? Five win dream. No reason to stop now. No reason to stop. Our worst matchup.
I don't know. Um, I think... I think I played this in the sub battle challenge against somebody playing a, um, a what's the card called? It's not Hero Precinct One, not that card. Hey, Gomez is getting the gifted sub from After Wizard. Thank you so much, Santa After Wizard, gifting 66 subs now to the channel. Wow, you are amazing, After Wizard. That gets us to our next sub goal as well. What was the? I can't think of the card. Priest of Forgotten Gods. There we go. We played against a Priest of Forgotten Gods deck and got messed up pretty bad. I don't know. We played against Honor Guard earlier. It's Honor Guard just stops the wild growth. Um, Wild Growth, Jade Light, Branch Walker, that's about it. Like, the extra token from Biogenic Ooze doesn't really matter, because you could just make more of them. You still have Biogenic Ooze and Hydroid Crisis. You're still good to go there. Please let this... Please let this resolve. Hey, go lands! All right, it resolved. That's going to give us a big mana boost that we need. And Dr. Gindo getting on the sub boat. Also, we are we have an armada here. All these hype boats. Thank you so much. Get those hype boats in the chat. Yeah, one drop Curious Obsession is tough to beat. And Gur making waffles. Getting there as well. Thank you so much, waffles. Thanks, After Wizards. Yeah, I started the trend. 13th sub of the day. I, I do need to update our uh, latest. Let's see. Our. Uh, the sub battle info page also. How am I? So, there we go. How am I doing this? So, love it. Love it. Get your resolve, Biogenic Ooze. What I'm talking about. I'll put this counter over here on this token. Next turn, I'll put the other counter on the token, you know, flip the climb. So we have hit 12 sub goals now. 12 out of 15 to get to our next sub battle stream. There we go. Updated that. So I want to have the Winged Temple of Araska on defense. Yeah, I could have held it to jump start. I'm not jump starting this turn anyway, because I'm 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 playing the winged or I'm having the winged temple up on for defense, defensive purposes. means I guess I gotta do it on this wild growth walker here. I 
They gotta run out of Trickster soon, right? I don't want to see that. I don't want to say that Proliferate will not see constructed play, but um, I'm not too enthralled about decks just completely built around that mechanic. So if they if they attack, they're just you know suicide attacking. If they don't attack, we'll make a news. Yeah, they could have tried to double. Yeah, they could have double blocked Biogenic Ooze. Um, I didn't really want them to. I'm glad they didn't. Postal Service. So if I activate Incubation Druid now, I'm one short from activating Winged Temple. I'm still going to do this now. I'm one short of activating Winged T Temple and having Negate. Yeah, I meant add mana with Incubation Druid, not like adapt. I'm not trying, sorry. That's what I, I meant, like just add mana. I don't have Negate available also. But that's okay. I don't really need to negate anything there. All right, Biogenic Ooze coming through clutch. And now our matchup gets a little better. We get these Harpooners, these Crushing Canopies. We can Melody some stuff, get some more Negates. I don't really like Frilled Mystic. I feel like Frilled Mystic is too expensive. Um, Hedonis Climb is, is awesome in this matchup, as you could tell from that game there. I kind of like everything else. Uh, we got to get rid of some cards. So, our worst cards are probably Ooze and Vivian, I guess. I don't know. Ooze is, like, you know, real good if Ooze resolves. And Ooze can resolve, for sure. I guess we're getting rid of Vivian. And... No, Krasis is not too slow for this. Krasis is also a flyer. Fly, like, flying is very important. Wild Growth Walker is is an important part of our game plan with the the gain life, like how you can gain so much life with Wild Growth Walker and how it gets big. It just wins races. Also, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cut one incubation druid in of Biogenic Ooze. I don't really like cutting the incubation druid though. Mana is important. Speaking of mana, 
We can use some mana. Hinterland Harbor. Feel like a Hinterland Harbor right here, deck? Hinterland Harbor. Oh, well, I'll take it. Gotta fill this up. Gotta fuel that harpooner. This does mean we are weak to Curious Obsession. Good, no Curious Obsession. Good, good, good. I need to say it's lower. Hinterland Harbor. All right, one Tempest Gen down. I had the negate there just in case of a dive down. See if they have double counter spell. Okay, that's also good. Yeah, that denying life gain with the trickster there is really strong. We can't negate that. Tempest Gen's about to kill us. I definitely like having the second Krasis. We get to gain a couple life, draw a couple cards. Any of this gets countered, we got another Krasis. Now we get to canopy this Tempest Gen with double negate backup. What is this Surge Mare doing in here? Who plays that card? All right, I guess I'll just steal that Surge Mare next turn. For this turn, I'm killing the Tempest Gen. Yeah, our negate was prettier than theirs. That's why ours won. It looked cooler. <laughs> oh, I could have dealt. Yeah, I could have attacked for one point of damage. Sure. Ah, Storm Tamer. Storm Tamer is lame. Hmm. I mean, I think I'm dead. I mean, I guess I guess I gain a little bit of life with the crisis, so we're not dead. We're not dead, dead. Let's go four. Hmm. Could it go four in case we draw an untapped land, then we get to have negate available. But then Krasis is a slower clock. 
I'm still gonna do four. All right, so we canopy Storm Tamer next turn. Next turn, we canopy the Storm Tamer, and then Entrancing Melody, the Surge Mare. So I don't think they can activate twice, because if they activate twice, then, you know, like, they just don't have interaction. this creature with flying. This is good that we didn't have to shock in now. All right. Six and oh. Hydrocrasis was awesome for us. It was looking bad. Hydrocrasis just gained enough life, drew, drew enough cards. Let us find our answers. And we just went through tier th all. We just went through tier three and tier tier two. We're now on tier one for platinum. We need three more wins to get to diamond. Ranking up. Plat one. <laughs> I don't think we'll get to Mythic in one week. Or basically, I mean, we're almost a week now, right? Or like we're basically a week of playing some ranked. We didn't, I mean, we didn't play ranked all week, but we started playing some ranked like a week ago. And but we're almost a diamond. Or platinum, or whatever diamond. Yeah, almost a diamond. Wait, are they diamond? Lucky. Does that mean if we win, then we're diamond now? <laughs> I stream, yeah, I stream seven hours a day. Um, but we have, we haven't only just been playing rank stuff. We've been doing a lot of, of the constructed events as well. Looks like Mono Blue again. More mana required. Thursday, Hornbill. As soon as Arena is live on Thursday, uh, as soon as War is live on Arena, then we'll be playing standard right away. That was convenient that that resolved. That was good. Pretty good for us. Ooh, another jellyfish hydra beast. They don't seem to have any counter magic. I just had a bunch of creatures and lands. Looks like. Scry that one to the bottom quickly. Don't want to trade this crisis for a dive down.
If I take... I mean, I can cast Krasis right now. I cast, I cast it for... Uh, seven. But I could also just double activate these Incubation Druids. And then next turn cast it for a ton. So one, two, three, four, f three, four, five, and then three, four. So I need an untapped land. I'm just going to double activate these Incubation Druids. Yeah, we're not really in any hurry, right? 23, they've already lost a Curious Obsession. We're doing good. So that's 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 mana, so 12. It's definitely possible I could just could have just attacked them for lethal also. But, you know, why attack for lethal when you can have Sphinx's Revelation Galta? Galta's Revelation. Nagate, Melody, Harpooner, Canopy. Gotta cut one more card. Ugh, last time I cut the Incubation Druid, but I don't want to do that. Incubation Druid's great. I guess I'm cutting a news. Vivian's not necessarily bad, it's just worse than the other things we have. <laughs> Thanks, Horatio. So how were we able to do the, the double um, Incubation Druid? Because whenever we activated one Incubation Druid, then that one added three. And so then once that one added three mana, then it could, then it could, then we had enough mana to activate the other one. The debate between Incubation Druid and Paradise Druid. Incubation Druid is better when you have Krasis. You want a lot of mana. Paradise Druid is better when you... Um, when you want different colors of mana. You know, like when you're trying... Let's probably just play this thing. Paradise Druid is going to be different... Better whenever you need like all the different colors of mana, and also if you're like a more aggressive deck where you want like the two power attacker. So, like the more aggressive you are, the better Paradise Druid is. Correct. Uh, Tithe Taker makes everything your opponent can play on your turn more mana. So yeah, Trickster, Merfolk Trickster would cost more mana. It would cost three mana. Yeah, so the Harpooner still has reach, even though, like, we got to trade, you know, we got to, to make them discard a dive down in. Still, they can't attack anymore. And now the Terramander cannot adapt, so that's good. It's good news. Our opponent kind of has to let this go, because like, if they don't, if they counter this, and then I just have a Branch Walker or Land Jade Light, it's like, you know, if I just have Land Jade Light, it's like game for them. Take 
down, 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 down. Oh, I guess I just have a. I have. I should just be attacking. I, yeah, I need to start attacking. I should have been attacking. Last turn. More salamander drakes, huh? Well, now I don't really want to attack. I would trade a wild growth walker for a terramander. Yeah, that's actually fine. Terminator could be a 5-5. Five five. Could have had like another couple damage in there. Like another like one or two damage. That's a lot of life. Alright, seven and oh. Two away from diamond. We need two more. Stop. There's Japanese alternate art planeswalkers. Those do look really cool. Has Quasi Dupla Ooze ever done poorly for us? Not that I can think of. We might have gone like maybe we've gone two two or three two with the deck. I don't I can't really think of a time we've done worse than that. Mono red. Mono red gets that bread. Not the best hand against Mono Red, of course. Biogenic use is good for us, but it's going to be tough. Hopefully no lands, just pass. No land pass. Ooh, no land pass. All right, we need to find something to do on turn four. We have, we got to have something to do on turn four. We can't just take the turn off. All right, that's something to do on turn four. We'll, we'll keep it. Next turn, just gain a life. Play a 2-2, gain a life. Draw a card. <laughs> this one surprised the game over? Yeah, it's a good one. Oh no, they hit the land. So hoping they didn't hit a land there and then weren't gonna be able to play the Viachino. Tough. Kind of want to just say decline there. We need these uses to take over. Or 
really we need to draw wild growth walker i for completely forgot about that yeah we just need to draw wild growth walker <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, a Wild Growth Walker is G, G. Is, is the ooze a dog or a cat? Defense. 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 So Chain Whirler can eat up this 3-3. Ugh, where's wild growth? Alright, I'm keeping you here, Jade Light, because I want the two counters. Keeping that Jade Light Ranger there because I want the two counters on my Jade Light so I can flip this winged temple and also make... I wanted to make this um, Ranger a 5-4 to be able to block... Down to five. I mean, our way to win... Our way to win is to, you know, hope hope we can kill them with this Jade Light this turn. Ugh. Dang. So yeah, so that's why our opponent didn't really attack with the Chain Whirler, because they had enough burn in their hand to kill us. I don't know. Taking out Vivian means we could definitely lose to Frenzy. They're red-black. Like, does that mean they're playing, like, Sword Point Diplomacy and stuff? We just don't really know. I could take out the Land of War Elves that are really bad against Chain Whirler. I guess I just take out Quasi-Duplicates. I mean, Quasi-Duplicates are, like, kind of win more, I guess. Yeah, I guess there's just one more. Melody is really good against Chain Whirler. I don't really care for it against anything else, but against Chain Whirler, I like it a lot. You think they're playing status? I don't... I don't think this is a Remodi deck. I guess maybe it is. Actually, maybe this is a Remodi deck, actually. Yeah, we get to be on the play this time. I think if we were on the play that other game, we can win. But, like, we were we were really slow being on the draw with them, like, shocking our Llanowar Elf. And then playing via Shino and, and, like, attacking and it taking a while before we got to play our Jade Light. But now we get... You know, this time we get Jade Light on turn two, like, before their via Shino and... Not a couple turns afterwards. Yeah, I'm taking out Land of Elves on the draw with Chain Whirler. On the play, kept it in here. Don't have... Okay, well... That was kind of my plan there. 
was have Branch Walker plus negate this turn, which is like the reason why I kept it. Playing Wild Growth here as a 1-3 isn't very impactful. Jeez, Phoenix. I was waiting for the ability to double spell. Okay, Jade Light. Ranger. Yeah, as Yad showed us the Japanese alternate art planeswalkers, they look really cool. I mean, if, if they don't have a burn spell, this is my best block. They did. Dang. Finally lost. If they just didn't have that other burn spell, ugh, they would have killed my Krasis, though. And I probably would have lost then. We're going to have Thrilled Mystic. Could never get the Wild Growth Walker going first. Yeah, I couldn't, couldn't get the Wild Growth Walker going first. It's still a great, great run here. quasi duplo Ooze, 7-1. Very strong run. A couple close games there. Um, but Rekindling Phoenix is just awesome at a mono-red sideboard. That card crushed us. Yeah. I guess I should have had Entrancing Melody in. Um, I would have had Entrancing Melody in over Vivian there. Which we never drew Vivian anyway, so we wouldn't have drawn the, the Melody. But I guess I should have had that in. Um, I was thinking about how Melody was going to be really good against Chain Whirler, but forgot about Phoenix. Phoenix is such a good card. All right, so yeah, great run for Quasi Dupla Ooze. So we were playing it until we lost there after, you know, we had such a good start. And yeah, we got to seven, seven wins in ranked. Way to go. Quasi Dupla Ooze, you know, beat Mono Blue a couple of times. We beat Esper, Grixis, um, that kind of stuff. I think a Demir Control Deck too. So, you know, we're beating Control Decks, beating Mono Blue. Um, but then we ended up falling to Mono Red. I think we beat, we beat Mono White. Also, no, tokens. We'd be green-white tokens. Yeah, green-white tokens also. Yeah, really good deck. Uh, liked the couple changes we made to it this time. Uh, we added in a second Disdainful Stroke, which was really clutch. And we also added in one Manipulation instead of the Melody. And uh, we never actually cast the Manipulation, but we had it like one time against Esper where it would have been good if we needed it. But the Hadana's Climb was awesome. Um, Biogenic Ooze is still really cool. And there we go. All right. If you are watching this video later on on YouTube, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you hit the subscribe button over there. And thanks for watching some Quasi Dupla Ooze. And I'll see you for the next video.